Hi everyone, in our workshop today we're going to be cooking this wonderful melt in the mouth Jacob's Ladder short rib of beef. Keep watching to see the full video. Hi everyone, welcome to this wood fired workshop at Manor from Devon Cooking School. In this workshop we're going to be braising Jacob's Ladder or short ribs and we're going to be doing it in the Bushman Santorini oven. I've got these fantastic short ribs from Piper's Farm. This is grass fed, really nice and dense texture, absolutely fantastic meat. In uh, UK this is historically known as a Jacob's Ladder, uh, in the US short ribs and it's a, it's a piece of meat which really really enjoys lovely slow cooking. Comes from the ribs obviously, being ribs, it's done a lot of work throughout its life, lots of connective tissue and the slow cooking is going to break down that connective tissue and give us meat which is going to fall off the bone but also be really 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 rich in flavour. The first thing we're going to do is just brown the meat in a hot oven. So I've got the oven behind me as you can see with a fire running and a pan in there heating up nicely ready to brown the meat. So I want to do this in a nice hot oven so I just brown the outside really quickly. A couple of tablespoons of sunflower oil into the pan and then in these go with a lovely sizzle and back into the oven and we're looking to brown the meat on all sides and this is really to add flavour, umami depth to the final dish. So I've got the oven here with a nice bright fire burning so I'm only at a sort of one or two Mississippis and I want to brown the meat on all sides just for a minute or so on each side and putting it towards the back of the oven where it's at its hottest. The meat's nicely browned on all four sides now. And I've got this other pan, this is the pan I'm going to do the, the braising in and it's big enough for these to sit nicely in the bottom of the pan. So those can sit there for a minute and into the pan with some vegetables and here I've just got some onion, celery and carrot and these are going to add natural sweetness to the dish and I'm just going to soften these a little bit, sweat these down for a few minutes. So just putting those in the door of the oven and let those cook for four or five minutes until they just start to get a little bit soft. So the vegetables are nice and soft now and I'm going to deglaze the pan to make sure I get every bit of flavour out of it. We're deglazing the pan with a little wine. I'm just going to let that heat up and come to a sizzle and then we can add that to our beef ribs. I can hear the wine bubbling away behind me. So that and the vegetables can all go in with the meat. We're also going to be using some porcini mushrooms in this dish. So these have been soaked, chopped up, allowed to soak in a little bit of water. I'm going to pour all of that in. We're also going to add a little more sweetness with some tomato puree. Half a garlic. beef stock, salt and a nice pinch of ground black pepper. So that's everything done and ready to go into braise and this wants to braise in an oven which is now fairly gentle so falling away, falling from 180 maybe down to 100 degrees. You know if the oven's at 150, a sort of average 150 we're going to be talking about four hours braising if your oven's at 100 degrees, 8 to 10 hours braising. So it is, an, is a dish that you can do overnight if you've got a very, very gentle oven. So we can get to this point and then set the dish aside until our oven is ready for it. You don't have to do everything in consecutive steps one after the other. So I'm going to leave that for a minute and get the oven ready and make sure it's exactly as I want it. 
The oven's been cleared out and it's had 10 minutes or so just to settle down. So let's take a look at it now and make sure it's about right for our dish to go in. My th thermometer here, which is at a depth of sort of five centimeters below the floor of the Bushman Santorini, tells me it's sitting at about 180, a little below 200. This one, which is giving me an air temperature, is around about 170. If I use the infrared thermometer, it will tell me some surface temperatures. So we've got 230 in the center of the floor, 100, let's say 200 on the back wall, 207, 160. So a bit of a range, but averaging around about 200. That means that the air temperature inside there will be a little below that. So 175 and falling, five Mississippis, and of course I can take into account the fact that once I put this big pan in there, which has got three quarters of a litre of uh, cold stock, plus everything else, plus the big pan, that's going to take some heat away. So we're going to settle at a sort of 170, 165 and falling. And I can leave that with the door on for three or four hours and not even have to think about it and by the time we come back and have a look we'd expect the meat to be falling off the the bone if i was cooking this in one of the ovens down the garden in the alpha for example then i would be topping up the fire every 30 or 40 minutes or so just to make sure that we keep a nice sort of steady heat in the oven and we have got a video about that we'll put a link into that video to show you how you can do that in one of those sorts of ovens we're two hours into this cook now and I just want to check that everything is going to plan. It's actually fallen off the bone there. So that's getting nice and soft. That one too has fallen off the bone. So we'll turn that over, put the lid back on, pop it back in the oven for another couple of hours. Our ribs have been in the oven now for about four hours, a little over four hours actually and we're about to bring them out but before i do that i just want to say thank you for watching this video and also if you enjoy these workshops please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you've got any questions at all about any wood-fired cooking please put a comment below and we will answer your comment so let's have a look at the oven first of all so the thermometer under the floor now sitting at 150 and the one by the door at 120 so that's telling us the internal temperature 120 130 degrees that means that the meat is still cooking so you can see that still simmer away in there and if i take a fork and pull away at this you can see how now it just breaks apart wonderfully so there's our braised Jacob's Ladder, four hours in the oven, cooking in red wine and porcini mushrooms, ready to be eaten just like that with mashed potatoes, absolutely fantastic. Or you could wait for that meat to go cold, shred it up, put it in ravioli, put it in empanadas, put it in a lasagna, cottage pie, all sorts of different things you could do with it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.